Hi, this is Tristy. You may have noticed that Batarang appears to be a little bit broken. It's been broken for like the last couple of months and it's been really, really frustrating to try and get to have a look at the models and, and things that um, you know, at least I'm used to using. It does have this new feature for hints, uh, which may be useful once it actually sort of works with scopes. So maybe in the future that will work. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is just uh, show you the process for actually um, rolling back to a previous version of Batarang so that we can actually use it for, for web dev work. So the first thing we need to do is jump across to this page here. So it's, we're going to github.com angular, angular js dash Batarang uh, forward slash releases is the page we're looking at. Um, and just jump down to the last sort of stable version, which is probably this one here. So version 0.4.3. So what, what we need to do with this is, is just download the zip file if, if that one is the most appropriate for you. And then what you want to do is, is then extract that file into a location. So I just click on uh, zip and that'll download. It's not a very big file, um, so it shouldn't take too long to do. Um, while that's happening, uh, the next thing that we need to do is if if we've um, already got uh, Batarang installed, we need to just go ahead and either disable or remove that because we're now going to um, load a new extension um, into Chrome. So we want to just go across to Chrome extensions. So you can just open another tab, just type in Chrome extensions. And um, here are the extensions that I've currently got installed in Chrome. Um, what I want to do is just find Batarang. So that's one, that's this one here. And I can just either disable it um, or if I wanted to remove it altogether, I can actually just remove it from Chrome. Um, so I'm just going to remove it. So off it goes. Um, and now what I want to do is um, at the very top here, we've got uh, developer mode. So make sure you've got developer mode checked. So we're going to uh, load the unpacked extension. But before I do that, I'm just going to unzip the file that I've downloaded. So you can just right click. All right. So now we just want to unzip that. So just extract. Uh, let's just come over here. So let me do that. Extract that out. All right. So once I've done that, what I want to do is load the unpackage extensions. Um, so I can just click on that, go and find the folder. Um, so I put it into tutorials. Um, just jump into the actual AngularJS folder just before you've got the sub um, folders uh, underneath it. And um, just select OK. Uh, and then you should see AngularJS Batarang appearing now. Uh, and now that should be enabled and installed for you. So just to test that out, um, just jump back to my app here. Um, I'm just going to close that tab and open and just uh, go down to inspect element. And now I've got the, um, the working original kind of version of um, Batarang um, back and installed and working for me. Well, I hope that helped you out. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details and I'll see you again soon.